right, go. guys, we're back at it now with the next fight. Lucas Lepre up against Leandro Lowe, one of the most anticipated matches here of the Lightweight Grand Prix. We've got multiple time world champion, the Alliance technician, the veteran, Grab one your of the most experienced competitors in the entire world. Grand Prix in the world. In the world. But certainly in this Grand Prix, Lucas Lepre up against the defending champion. Here he is, Leandro Lowe from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Grab your seats. This is going to be one for the record books. Six minutes of non-stop technique. This is for the first place of the category here. These guys are, are neck and neck. Lepre with a slight edge in points, but this is the first time they're meeting tonight. Here we go. Five. Under, five, under six minutes to go. Lucas Lepre pulls, pulls guards guard right away. Straight away. Maintains, and he's looking to do what he's been doing all night long, is passing that hand through the bottom of the leg of his opponent and maintaining the grip on the lapel. Well, he does have that lapel grip through the legs, and of course, against a, a knee cutter like Leandro Lowe, who drives that knee through to the mat. That's one of the few tactics that can, uh, can slow them down. Pay attention to the hand placement of Leandro Lowe. Pay attention to the hand placement of Leandro Lowe on his right hand, how he uses it just very precisely in his passing. Yeah, BJJ Scout broke it down. He called it the active posting, that hand on the mat. Usually it's a... Uh, it's a no-no in jiu-jitsu. They often tell you to try and not to base too hard on the mat because the guy will take away that support. But Lo is so good at adjusting that base and just popping it on the mat wherever he needs to and then going back to a point where he feels safe. A lot of the reason why that is possible with him is because he does have that that length of his body type. Here's oh, that position that- Lowe with that lapel Le through the legs. Yeah, this is the position that lepre has been working all weekend and really being dominant with it. If he can maintain that grip on the elbow. Oh, he gets it. That's it, two points for the reversal. He brings the champion to the mat and gains two points, but Leandro Lowe never stops and settles after this. He always goes right away to get the reversal and you can expect the same here. He's already beginning his entrance here. And there he goes with that double pan grip, comes back up on top. That's two points. Responds oh, wow. right away. Well, I mean, Lucas, he took that sweep, but now Leandro, he has turned it up a gear. I'd say that there was a lot more technique involved in the Lepre side of it. Uh, that was just beautiful execution and passing the hand. Um, but Leandro Lowe is notorious for once having been swept to get immediately it back. And as we've seen here demonstrated, Leandro Lowe is back up on top with the score tied two to two, less than four minutes remaining here in this, this neck and neck battle of points between the two in the, in the green belt, in the green category. Well, this is it, two and two. Zero advantages on the board right now. Two points apiece, three minutes, 35 remaining. And what a pace that Lowe was able to take it to. I mean, he slows right back down now, but I think that's one of Lowe's greatest uh, assets is, is his acceleration. The way that he's able to go from zero to 100, real just quick. a blink of an eye, right? <laughs> zero to 100 real quick, and he does it in a, a light switch. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Like, he can he can look like he's happily chilling out, that he's relaxing. Boom. The moment that he feels under danger, boom, foot on the gas, puts his opponent on the back foot, and that's exactly how he got back out of that position, you know? Didn't give Lepre any time, really, to set up his grips, to, to start passing. Which is surprisingly because normally what Lepre does once he uh, lands such a beautiful sweep is he maintains control. Uh, but Lepre, uh, uh, Leandro Lowe did a great job at, at, at not giving that ability to, to Lepre in this, in this instance. Now, what we have here is Lepre really trying to manipulate the lapel of Leandro Lowe from underneath his guard across the, uh, the quadricep of Leandro Lowe. But Leandro is so proficient on top of this hand placement and, the, and, his, and his grips, it's just, it And it's amazing it the way that with that deep collar grip, of his, his active posting, his hand on the mat, you know, most other guys, they'd be getting flipped over the top right there, but Leandro's base, 
Oh, Leandro's base just stuffs so it. good. Stuffs it. Leandro <laughs> stuffs him back to the mat. And look at that position he lands in there. I mean, That's oh, That's going to wow. get him an advantage. Leandro Lop now up by one advantage in this. In the lead, two minutes remaining. Very close matchup. He, re he reverts back to, the, to his standard passing position. He was in a very dominant position. It was interesting that he would, would revert. Looking for that back step over the top. Great flexibility there, but Lepre just about manages to catch the leg. And very unusual position here. Is it a real no man's land? What do you have to say then, how about, about uh, Lucas Lepre's determination here in this position? Wow, I mean, it's incredible. The positions and the grips that he's getting are just, I think, any other fighter would have been swept by now. I think it's only Leandro Lowe's incredible base that has kept him on top for so long. It, it just, it really is. It's almost like, uh, it's, it's, it's sorcery how he's able to defend those sweeps. It really is. It's the inhuman. Magician. Leandro, the magician. <laughs> And now in that position, Lepri got control of that leg. Looking to grip on low sleeve to keep that leg trapped. And now it's, it's Leandro controlling the pace of the match. He's up by an advantage and oh, he knows Lepri it. Oh, Lepri coming up, trying to come up for the sweep. He's got the grip of the pants, but low to his feet, out of bounds. One of the reasons why Leandro Lowe never gives up an advantage in the sweep attempts is because of that hand placement. You have to realize if his hand was not there and then his hand does touch the mat, it would most likely award his opponent an advantage for having nearly have swept his, uh, Leandro. But in, the play, in this sense, Leandro manipulates that situation with the hand placement. And what would have, could have been a, a, an advantage here has not been because of that hand placement. So it's the are, smallest details at this level that make all the difference. And there is one small detail separating these two fighters now with 30, point, uh, 30 seconds left in this contest. One advantage, it's two points apiece on the board. Leandro Lowe is one advantage ahead. 19, 18 seconds, this Lep is it. Dying seconds of the Lepre ranch. on bottom now working his same, same standard. Oh, he's coming up, trying to come through to the back. Lowe controlling the ankle, not allowing him to come up. Pressuring forward, that's it. That's Dying seconds. This is takes be the Leandro win. Low. Leandro takes it by one advantage. Wow, what Leandro a performance from our champion here at Copa Podio. Leandro Lowe showing why he's the champion in a very, very close matchup. I could see this guy, this being a, a, a rematch here for the semis. What do you think? Well, Lepre, he's got the eight points. Low now. Was at six. That advantage win puts him at also at eight points. He's now neck and neck with Lepre. Of course, they Whoa. both have one more fight. Overdose. But I on think technique. it's guaranteed that the, both of these guys will now go through to the final round, or to the final championship rounds, to the semi finals where they could theoretically meet once again in the final, should they both win. Wow, Drowning. what a great match.